Because I moved the arm mounting positions more to the chassis centerline, I had to modify the bulkhead's design. There were three different bulkhead prototype stages. The first prototypes were quickly modified from the previous design, where we simply removed the material in the lower part to avoid the suspension arms collisions. For the second prototype, we milled one millimeter groove in all the bulkheads and upper clamps, so we could move them more to the chassis centerline, but still use our standard, well-proven differential. With all modifications made on the bulkheads, I was finally satisfied with the performance. It was time to finalize the design. The third and final prototype design brought the most significant changes. I improved all the weak areas and significantly reduced the CG. How? We moved the anti-roll bar below the drive shaft and made the holder super tiny and lightweight. There was a small dilemma about what to do with the shock tower centering pins on the upper clamps. I really liked the shock tower centering pins as I did not have to reset the right height or check the tweak after the shock tower disassembly. But the test results show that the car generates a bit more traction without the centering pins. So in the end, when it comes to the performance, I took a no-compromise approach. The final design has no centering pins.